Right, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to talk about uh, the morphology of uh, lobar and bronchopneumonia briefly. Um, this is a representation of how it looks like on gross inspection. Now, generally, they describe uh, four morphological stages of um, lobar pneumonia. Um, to some extent, they apply to bronchopneumonia as well, but, but mostly they like to um, define the mass stages of um, lobar pneumonia. Now, the thing is that there are four stages, um, morphological stages, not clinical stages, and they are congestion, red hepatization, uh, gray hepatization, and resolution. Now, there are two anatomic um, types of pneumonia morphologically. One is this, where you can see uh, there is a patchy infiltrate. A patchy infiltrate has been shown in this uh, picture. Now, this area represents an infiltrate. This area represents an infiltrate, and likewise. Okay, so this is patchy. This is this is distributed um, in, uh, in in the, the, these are different dots uh, distributed over an area of uh, the lung, or in or over an area of the lung lobe. Now this. Uh, picture shows an affected area, which is this, and this shows that an, the entire lobe is affected grossly. Now, this stage, the patchy stage, the bronchopneumonia stage, this is known as morphologically bronchopneumonia, and this is called as lobar pneumonia. Patchy involvement, you can easily understand if the disease progresses, can progress to lobar pneumonia. Okay, so these are the actual gross pictures uh, of uh, bronchopneumonia and lobar pneumonia. You can uh, read all the clinical details from the textbooks, from and you can take an idea from the lectures. This again, uh, on this side, this lung shows clearly shows patchy involvement of the lobe. You can see. Here. Now, these represent areas of fibrosis, the last, almost the last stage of, um, as I described, um, first red hepatization, gray hepatization, and then resolution in the end. First, of course, congestion. Uh, congestion. And this picture represents involvement of an entire, entire lung lobe. Okay? Some of these areas may represent areas of previous past collections. Um, what happens is first uh, there's engorgement of the blood vessels, there's congestion, a lot of red blood cells, um, uh, initially less amount of them, red blood cells, neutrophils uh, and uh, fibrin, uh, fibrin accumulates. In the first stage just the red cells and um, inflammatory cells, then fibrin comes in, then a lot of neutrophils move in and then they exude out into the surrounding lung parenchyma. Now this is one uh, photomicrograph of the, um, you might say, um, this is likely to be the second stage. Uh, the first stage, congestion, there are a lot of RBCs, there may be some inflammatory cells, but in the second stage, the red hepatization, there may be, there may be a lot of inflammatory cells, particularly the neutrophils, inside the alveolar and some of them moving outside the alveolar spaces as well. Now, if you look closely, this is the wall of an alveolus, okay? Here as well, here as well, these are the alveolar walls and inside this alveolar space, in this area, you can see a lot of neutrophils, the bilobed cells, and then some um, red cells and few lymphocytes as well. So majority of it is uh, neutrophilic infiltrate, red cells, and in some areas fibrin can be seen. So, so this picture most likely represents uh, the second um, stage that comes after congestion. Now this uh, photomicrograph shows few areas of fibrosis. Again, we first mark the alveolar spaces. You can see here, this is the alveolar wall. This is the alveolar wall, uh, and inside you can see again a lot of inflammatory cells, but with an additional thing 
that now fibrin and areas of uh, developing fibrosis can be seen okay this might represent an area of fibrosis and later on a lot of fibrosis sets in the last stage the resolution or consolidation you can see there are a lot of fibroblasts in this region fibroblasts in this region fibroblasts in this region okay this is the unaffected area of the lung and this is the affected area where you can see these small spindle shaped fibroblasts similarly here uh, a lot of fibrosis is going on so this is how it looks like in the later stages so this is all about the uh, the, the important points of the gross and uh, microscopy please let me know if you have any questions